question C. On figure, mark on the axis X, Y. One point C where there is a compression in the wave and one point R where there is a refraction in the wave. From the first time you look in this diagram, you think that this is a representation of a transverse wave, not a longitudinal wave, because you see in the diagram crests and troughs, not compressions and refractions. How does this diagram represent a longitudinal wave rather than a transverse wave? Okay, let's explain. This is what you see in the question. This diagram represents the change in air pressure with the distance from the speaker which is the source of the longitudinal wave but we knew from before that this is a longitudinal wave compressions and refractions not the top one but do you see those areas where lines are far apart from each other we named them before as refractions and we say that in these regions air pressure is low that's why the refraction, which is the low pressure region, corresponds to the trough of the wave above. Also, those regions of the wave where lines or air layers are close to each other are considered to be high pressure regions, and they are represented in our graph in the question by the peaks. Also, this is a low pressure region, which is a refraction. And this is a high pressure region, which is a compression in the diagram. So, when he asked to point with the letter C, where is a compression in our wave? Simply, this is a compression where air pressure is high. And one point R, this is a refraction with point R, where air pressure is low. Question D. The sound wave shown has speed of 330 meters per second and a frequency of 132 hertz. Calculate the distance represented by XZ on figure. We must notice something here. He's asking for XZ on figure. But what does the distance XZ represent on the figure? You know that from this point X, to this point, this is a complete wave, and this distance is represented by the letter lambda, which is a complete wavelength. This means that the distance xz is just one half of the wavelength. So let's calculate the wavelength first. The general wave equation, which is v equals lambda f, means that lambda equals v over f, v which is the speed of sound, 330 meters per second divided by frequency which is 132 hertz dividing these numbers we get the wavelength equals 2.5 centimeters the question is not answered yet because we don't want a complete wavelength we only want half of the wavelength which is xz that's why 2.5 divided by 2 xz which is one half of the wavelength equals 1.25 centimeter.